Howdy folks, it's AJ, the hunting gear guy. This is one of these Range Max uh, gun cleaning kits specific to a caliber. This one's 22 caliber. It was 10 bucks, and I kind of wanted some extra stuff for a 22, so I picked it up. Uh, let's get it on the table and take a closer look at this thing. I think my reflection's not going to be that bad from here. Uh, as you can see in here, we've got a handle. We, uh, let's just crack it open. Why am I even? One of the things I noticed about this container, this is a big container for what's in here. It's got this like plastic stuff that uh, that kind of, what is it, blown mold? And if you look at it, it's a decently large container. Uh, and it's got a lot of wasted space in it. So uh, if you end up getting one of these and you want it for compactness, I would recommend putting it in something else. Uh, the idea here, this is one of these pull-throughs. So we've got this uh, length of cable here that quickly comes out. Uh, that end goes into our handle. And on the handle, we've got... Um, two of the same, and then one of those, if we want to do it and, and struggle with it, I guess. Uh, realistically, you're going to use this middle part and use it as a T-handle. So that part flies on there, and that's going to provide our uh, our grip for the cleaning rod. It's got kind of like a plastic covered uh, cable, which these are uh, quite a bit stronger than a lot of the fabric pull-throughs. Some of those fabric pull-throughs can uh, rip <laughs> when you're pulling them through, which is uh, a little bit concerning. Uh, and on this end here, this is where we'd uh, stick our uh, cleaning brush or whatever else we need to uh, pop on there. So um, ideally, if you want to uh, if you want to use this, you would uh, stick this in through the barrel, uh, hook on this guy, and then pull it through the other side. Uh, you wouldn't try to push this wet noodle through the barrel. Uh, you'd instead pull it through. So we've got a longer brush here. I think this one is for your rifle. I'm pretty sure this shorter one, the idea here is to use it for a pistol. So for the pistol, you don't actually have to use the cable or anything like that. You can use the rod instead. So let's just pull this guy off. Uh, this rod here has one section that spins freely, one that doesn't. And the spin freely part is the part that goes on first. And then this hooks up right here. And then the idea here is this will spin. So as you're pulling it through your barrel, it's free to move as the as you pull it through and move with the grooves as uh, as it's going through the uh, the barrel and the lance. The same thing would follow through for the um, uh, this guy here to push the patches through, or if you pull prefer to do the uh, the bunch and push through the middle bit, you could use this guy here. Um, or the mop uh, that we've got here as well that you can use to kind of give it a final cleanup. But keep in mind, like when it's new, this is going to leave a lot of fabric, little uh, bits in, of uh, fabric behind. Not that your gun cares. Also inside the cleaning kit, we have some patches here. These are nice, uh, thin, strong pieces of fabric that you can use to pull through uh, with oil first and then dry afterwards to, uh, to clean out your barrel. And then we've got a random smorgasbord of uh, crappy bits that don't really fit very well in here. Um, they're, they're, it's kind of an odd selection. So here, let me let me show you what we've got going here. Uh, first, we've got I believe this is a seven sixty fourth. So we've got a seven sixty fourth Allen bit. I would prefer a one eighth. I mean, seven sixty four you use sometimes, but one eighth seems to come up quite often with me, as well as a five thirty seconds. So it'd be nice to have those in rather than this guy. Uh, the Torx is a T20. Now, most scope rings use like a T15, so it'd be nice if it had a T20 and T15 in here. Uh, for Phillips, we have uh, a number two, and then we also have a number one. I never run into number ones. This is like that, this is crap that shows up on cheap, crappy toys, so I don't need uh, a number one. And we got a couple flat bits here as well. Um, a bad fitting flat bit is almost useless. So I'd almost rather not have these in here at all. I'd rather have some more uh, uh, Allen keys and Torx bits rather than these flats in here that are just gonna mar up what I need to do. Uh, but in any case, what you would do here is you would stick those into the uh, adapter here and that makes for a quick little screwdriver. Realistically, um, I would probably get a different case than this one uh, or I would dump it all in there. And then include some other stuff and then use that as my crappy little uh, case. But you can see just like how little space you actually need in here versus how much is used with this with this case. So 
if you're taking this to the range, maybe choose a, a different case or maybe choose to um, include more parts in here. Primarily, like for 10 bucks, uh, you can get these brushes and that kind of thing on in bulk uh, for less. But to go to a gun store and get all this stuff, it's going to be more than 10 bucks because they're going to nickel and dime you and all these little things. So uh, I only really wanted this for some of the components to be able to take out to the range and just have as spares. And I think for 10 bucks, it's uh, it's an okay value for that. The fact that it's got a pull through as well is okay. Um, I'll put some specs in the notes here and we'll call it a day. Thanks for watching.